just started working with a local brewery that is located up in Sada. They make handcrafted local beers, ales and stouts and I thought it would be a lovely combination to actually create some chocolates using these. As you know I love working with local ingredients, anything that's produced locally. So this is the, the sort of um, essence behind our new chocolate range. I had to try all the different ones just to see how they reacted, how they worked with the chocolate. And it's kind of, it's like food pairing, you have to basically chocolate pair, pair the right chocolate with obviously the ale or the cider or the stout that we chose to use to create the chocolate. The first one we use the London Porter, which is a traditional 18th century English stout. So it's very malty, even chocolatey, which is really good. So then we paired that up with black currant, and that works really well. So we've got that with black currant and a very, very dark chocolate to withstand that strong stout flavour. The brewery produced an Irish red ale, and this is interesting in flavour. It has a very sort of malty caramel flavour. So I picked up on that and created a caramel using the Lianxi Red Ale. Well now we've gone completely different. We've gone on to something, uh, a cider which is lighter and obviously cider apples and then we've paired that up with pears. So we've got a apple and pear caramel. They're available here at the Chocolaterie. And it's just so nice to actually almost infuse the local environment into the chocolate and it gives it something really special. It means a lot more. This is the Sorella Apple and Pear Caramel. The chocolate that we have used is a chocolate from Dominican Republic. It's a single origin chocolate. We've kept the caramel a little bit softer, get the acidity of the apple. But as I said, it's a buttery caramel. So that really does, you do get that buttery, soft caramel flavor. We now have our Lianxi Caramel. We've blended both a dark and a milk chocolate because we didn't want to overpower. The next one is the London Porter and Blackcurrant. This is a more serious chocolate because the London Porter being a stout, it is actually got, it's very robust. It's got chocolate background flavors so it could withstand the dark chocolate. Its texture is more truffly more sort of uh, firmer. Mm. You get an immediate hit of black currant, which is nice. The fruit comes through. You get that tanginess because we've worked with the dark, ch the chocolate we've used, as we said, is tangy in itself, so it's really bringing that out. And then the stout adds a really serious, a really serious dark note to it. 